it's scary. Today I'm showing you some of my movable dinosaurs. I love the bright colours. Can you tell me how many dinosaurs and flying reptiles in today's video? I've painted Crocodile Rock with silver paint. It looks much better now. It was far too dark. Expect some trouble at the end of the video. My drive is going to bring in each animal and then we'll have a look at it and I'll tell you a little about it. Corythosaurus lived during the late Cretaceous period. It was a large plant-eating duck-billed dinosaur from the Hadrosauridae family. It grew to about 30 feet in length. It had a hollow, bony crest on top of its long head in the shape of a helmet flattened on the sides. The crest resembled the crests on the cassowary and also a Corinthian helmet. Its name means helmet lizard. Corythosaurus' nostrils went up through the crest. The crest was most likely used to make sounds or possibly as a cooling device. Tyrannosaurus. It lived up to its reputation as one of the most fearsome animals of all time. Its powerful jaws had 60 teeth, each one of them up to 20 centimeters or 8 inches long, and its bite was around three times as powerful as a lion's bite. Bite marks found on Triceratops and Edmontosaurus fossil bones show that Tyrannosaurus could crunch through bone. The terrifying Dilophosaurus lived in the early Jurassic period. Its name means double-crested reptile. It was an aggressive, medium-sized carnivore that feasted on small plant-eating dinosaurs and reptiles. It had sharp teeth and most likely killed with its clawed arms and legs, especially the dew claw. It was also a scavenger. Brachiosaurus was unlike most sauropods. The forelimbs were longer than the hind limbs. So if you have a look there, the front legs are longer than the back legs. Brachiosaurus lived on land. Most predators like Allosaurus and Ceratosaurus were half its size. Its best defense was their size plus their clawed feet and tail. Pteranodon was a flying reptile that lived during the time of the dinosaurs. It had a crest on its head, no teeth at all and a very short tail. They were lightly built with hollow bones and small bodies. They may have had fur. Pteranodon wings were covered by a leathery membrane. This thin but tough membrane stretched between its body, the top of its legs and its long four fingers to make the wing shape claws protruded from the other fingers. Triceratops 
the best known ceratopsian. Triceratops used its horns in combat and the frill acted as a protective shield to its neck. The frill was also used in courtship rituals. When threatened, Triceratops would charge into its enemy like a rhinoceros. It would have been quite fearsome to look at with that large bony frill, three horns and just its massive size. Stegosaurus. The tail was a lethal weapon. The force bites would be swung under the unprotected belly of a predator with deadly force. I really like the thagomizers. They're the distinctive arrangement of the spikes on the end of the tail. These spikes are believed to have been a defensive measure against predators and they would have worked very well. Notice that the back legs are longer than the front ones which sprawl out to the sides a little. watching my video it really helps if you can share my videos on any of the social media sites that you like to visit see you again soon